believe this driver just dropped their trailer. I just heard a noise and then, uh, yeah, I can see the landing gear is all the way up. Nobody hooked to it. There was a, uh, I saw a pigtail hooked up to the trailer a second ago while I was looking the other way though. Uh, I guess they disconnected the pigtail. I thought it was that truck there at first for some dumb reason, but no, they, uh, hang on. I'm gonna have to, I might, I don't know if they're gonna want help uh, getting the trailer back up. So let me get dressed. All right, well, not dressed, but get my shoes on and all that and see if they want help. But yeah. This is why you checked your damn fifth well, visually. All right guys, uh, got a drop trailer issue here. Uh, if, you have a, if you have a tractor with collapsible airbags, uh, like this driver does, uh, you can always uh, drop your airbags first. And now his, uh, his plate here, we were able to get underneath the trailer and now he's uh, manually cranking the landing gear and low gear. Really get it just high enough uh, where you get a little bit of uh, height on it, and he's gonna drop the bags back down, and we'll put it back here on this wedge right here. Try to get it under both sides of the uh, the tractor. After that, now I was gonna try to put my tractor underneath the other corner of his trailer there, but my uh, my back end here has a, a plate that goes up over the top and won't be. Uh, won't be useful at all for this but his case if I had a tractor it was set up just like this one uh, I would have been able to get underneath the, the other corner so just something to help you um, yeah once we get the back I once get the landing gear uh, extended a little bit more we're gonna straighten back out and get up here on the wedge all right hey guys we got the frame both. I'm gonna raise the airbags up and that should get both landing gear off the ground. Okay, dropping the airbags. Got the landing gear extended a little bit more. Gonna pull away and go over into that uh, recessed, yeah, that open area there and come back in a little straighter. I want to try to get the fifth wheel plate on uh, underneath the apron. Okay. All right, we're gonna hook back up here. Let me put the camera down so we can uh, guide him in. Alright, airbags are deflated as you see here. You get the wedge underneath, at least up onto the plate, uh, onto the, the, the frame row. Okay, raise your airbags. Okay, he's gonna raise the bags now, it'll get both landing gear off the ground. Should be able to crank it in high gear this time as well. They should be able to get both both uh, both sand shoes off the ground. Couple times myself, and both times it was uh, disconnecting. One time I was swapping loads and uh, got my my steps out of order from the way I don't normally do them. Went to pull the my forcer lock off the trailer before I went to crank the gear, and I forgot to crank the gear up. Started to pull forward, and I realized, oh shit, I didn't crank my gear. I was pulling a flat, empty flat bed, and I pulled out of our shop. Yeah. 
men will do nothing to fall for it. Trail it off. Uh, but, an imp. Yeah, other, other time was at a... I was at a drop shipper and they wanted me to drop my trailer because uh, the shad driver blindsides it into the door and... Ah. Oh, there we go. That'll at least help some. Yep. Um, yeah, you can probably put it in... Uh, the other way. Yeah, I, you can probably even turn it in high gear too at this point. That, I think it's in neutral. There we go. Oh yeah, that helps. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was saying the same thing though. I did things out of order from what I normally do and I heard it drop onto my frame rail before I uh, thankfully uh, stopped there. Yeah. Okay, put it in low gear. Pull it back out, put it in low gear. See how far he is from getting it underneath the fifth wheel. Might be enough here actually because uh, I don't know about yours, but my truck, will, uh, it, my back end drops three and a half inches when I drop my airbags. That might be enough. See if you can uh, get your fifth wheel under it. Because mine, mine drops three and a half inches. When I drop my airbags, mine drops three and a half inches. So you might, yeah, you might, be, able might be able to get uh, your fifth wheel under it now. Even if all you get is the tires, it's still a little bit more. Okay. Tires might wedge underneath the apron here. That's not a big deal. It's, uh, um, it, it could at least get the trailer a little bit higher. We're bound to make these kind of mistakes. It's just, uh, yeah. Tires are gonna just in case. Oh yeah, keep coming all the way back, all the way, all the way. Keep coming, keep coming. Your fifth row's under it. Keep going all the way back. Keep going. Yeah, we've got good latching there. Alright, so he's gonna raise the airbags back up and be able to crank it the rest of the way. Alright, so uh, the, when the trailer got dropped, these fittings got broken. Let me show you. Right here on both the blue and the red broke. Uh, we tried to move the trailer with it like this still just to at least get it moved out of the way but it was uh, leaking too badly it wasn't going to release the trailer brakes so thankfully uh, the driver had uh, was able to get new ones from the shop and now we're going to hook them uh, up we already got the red one hooked up and the trailer moved now we're going to do the blue one Okay, we're going to start by disconnecting the airlines here. Now this hose is just a press on here. It's, uh, I will uh, get this out of the way. So I pull this out of the hose. Oh, no, no, no. take this fitting out next. We don't want to try to fight this out while this is loose, otherwise you're going to put unnecessary stress on the, on the stud. Oh, 
you guys do drop it hooks or? Oh, uh, I do live unloading. It's all, you always have the same trailer? Mm hmm. Huh. It felt kind of loose, like maybe this has been replaced before. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know anything about the mechanics on the truck, man. I, they, they, they check the trucks out, they PM them themselves. So I don't, I don't know what's going on with it. How long have you been with this company? One month. Oh, okay. So maybe somebody who used this trailer before you might yeah. have dropped it or mm -hmm. something at some point. Then. Uh, this is all there is to it. The other, the new one already has a grommet on it, so we don't have to replace anything there. It's not the best looking grommet though. It's kind of smashed in. Put this fitting back on. It's on the new. I want to put a new Teflon on the threads here and help keep the airtight seal on there. Don't need a hell of a lot, just maybe even that. Okay. Chicago. 
Oh, okay. That don't run out in this region very often. I'm, uh, I usually run southwest. Okay. Yeah, I died. Came from Ohio, um, Iowa. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just delivered in Bedford Park hmm. a couple days ago and in Detroit yesterday morning and then picked my download up in Dolphin. Okay. Yeah, my load is 20 minutes away, normal, normal Illinois. And then from there, I got an hour to drive to get to my other stop. I'm gonna pick up for Pennsylvania. What, what did you do over there at the normal? Normal now. <laughs> oh, shit. So hopefully they'll accept me because they're real tedious so, on time. Go work in, I hope? Or? I hope. Because if not, then I got a, sh a shipment of 43,000 pounds of corn seed just sitting on the trailer. Okay, we're all set here. Uh, we can go ahead and hook back up. Should be ready to go. Yeah, but you got the flat tire too. Uh, do you have a flat hand an operator at host to uh, air it up with? Or? No. Uh, I got you covered. Okay, definitely appreciate it. Find out if it's, uh, if it's just from the. If it's just from the. The weight of the trailer. Dropping or if it's something else. So. Right. Ah, right, well, uh, that's it on how to fix a drop trailer problem. Um, thankfully this was a lot easier to do than some of the other ones. So absolutely, absolutely. Right, you guys got some good info out of that. Okay. Right, go for it. Okay, so we end up uh also when he dropped the trailer, I think he uh got the right rear outer trailer tire uh, came off the bead and it was flat. Um I ended up helping I'm um, using my glad hand hose and hooked him up on that also. So we got him in and out of there pretty fast. Uh, the spring on uh, one of his uh, glad hand hose, uh, glad hand hangers, whatever, actually I think it was the one for his pigtail, was uh, broken, or uh, not broken, but uh, stretched, uh, stretched beyond its uh, uh, limits, I guess you would call it. So he's gonna have to replace that, but he still has the other uh, spring on there that he's able to work with uh, at least so he can go make his delivery which is 20 miles away as you, got, as you guys might have heard when uh, he was recording me earlier uh, also you know as much as I like watching bonehead trucker video also um, this is a better way to do things here all right help other people educate them and stuff you know we got him out of the way of uh, another truck that was uh, parked there and actually left while I was airing his tire back up and you know, showing how easy it is to uh, replace those uh, glad hand uh, connections on the trailer. And he's on his way now to go make his delivery. So, um, and I didn't have to uh, shame him on uh, on social media, you know, for it either. Uh, speaking of that, uh, what happened was he had disconnected from his trailer earlier, I guess, and, or no, no, he was going to get his. Uh, one of the you know, the airbags for his sleeper berth uh, looked at, but the shop here said they couldn't get to him for about a couple more hours, but he had a delivery to make. So what had happened was that he had pulled his fifth wheel on his own, um, intending to disconnect from the trailer and go into the shop. But then when found out that they uh, couldn't get to him for a couple more hours and he you know, was gonna interfere with his delivery, um, yeah, I guess uh, he, he didn't uh, make sure it was hooked back up. So, you know, it's a mental mistake. You, know, you might call it a rookie type of move, but I've made those same mistakes. Yeah, like I said, I, I was telling him and a couple other guys here, uh, I've almost dropped trailers twice, and that wasn't even as a rookie. Um, first time was, uh, I think, two or three years ago. I was swapping loads with somebody, and... Did my steps out of order. Like I've told you guys before on my channel, uh, if you, uh, it doesn't matter which order you do all your steps in, you know, between the pigtails, the the lever, uh, the fifth wheel release, and the landing gear, and then uh, your uh, fourth one would be the, the enforcer lock if you're working with that loaded trailer like I was. Um, do them in the same order every time. Doesn't matter which order you do, just do whatever makes sense for, for you, but don't get them out of order. If you do get them out of order, there's a better chance you're gonna make a mistake and drop your trailer. And I almost made that same mistake. And uh, in my case, 
I did the pigtails, and then I unle I released the fifth wheel, but then while I was releasing the fifth wheel, the other driver came around to uh, uh, start talking to me and give me my bills, uh, uh, give me the bills to his trailer. And before I ended up uh, going to the landing gear, I just went straight to the, the the back of the trailer to pull the, uh, you know, to remove my enforcer lock. Didn't bother to, raise it, to lower the landing gear. So what happens? I start pulling away, and then uh, thankfully I wasn't even off the fifth wheel yet, but I was like, wait a minute, did I drop my landing gear? Because I had a mental, like, I feel like I forgot something. And uh, so I stopped, and I get back out and check, and sure enough, my landing gear was still all the way up. And they're like, oh, shit. yeah, I was, I got, I dodged the bullet there. Um, and that was a heavy trailer, too. That was like 42,000 pound load. And the other occasion was when I was picking up at Saputo, um, the J Street address, I think it is, uh, in Tulare, California. Uh, I don't think I have that one on my YouTube. I don't know. I um, think I had intended to record that one, but I, I can't remember. So I thought I remember something happening where it didn't have, uh, have that available. But I get checked in there. Well, uh, for a pickup now, the uh, for all the dock doors there, they have you have to blindside in, and what the normal process is on a weekday is their shag driver will actually uh, they'll actually tell you to disconnect from your trailer, and the shag and then uh, go park in one of the drop spots there, and then the shag driver will hook up to it and drop it into the door for you, and then when they're done uh, when they're done loading you, they'll pull the trailer back out off to the side and then you can uh, when you get your bills you hook back up to it and off you go okay so i'm dropping my trailer and um uh, i don't know why because uh, I, I same thing i get i went out of order i did the pigtails first and i uh, pigtail and glad hands and then i did my fifth wheel release and then instead of doing the landing gear next i went straight to the doors to open them up and didn't bother to do the, uh, the the landing gear. And then I go straight back to the truck and I'm not eyeballing the, as I'm going by. That's another thing, attention to detail. Yeah, it's a good thing to visually check your landing gear as you're walking back up if you do it in some other order than what I do. Or if you do it the way I do it and just happen to do it out of order, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, just yeah, a mental fuck up there and get in the truck and start pulling away. Thankfully, well, I'm, I'm um, meticulous about it I guess or cautious about it and I, I actually heard and felt the trailer drop down onto the, the frame rail of my tra of my tractor so and I stopped immediately and thankfully I was able to keep it from dropping all the way down so I was like oh shit so yeah I had to raise the landing gear I mean I extend the landing gear as much as I could and I think I already have my airbags deflated too and yeah I extended the landing gear I uh, raised it back up. I mean, ra uh, raised my airbags back up, extended the landing gear some more, got my fifth wheel underneath it. And uh, now, with my fifth wheels underneath it, that's where I like the landing gear to be right on the ground, but not pushing on pushing on the ground, just sitting on the ground, yeah, ideally. So um, I was able to keep that one from falling all the way down. So, thankfully, no major screw ups where damage was done and uh, parts had to be replaced, but. Uh, wasn't exactly a rookie in that case. I mean, that was only a year or two ago, whatever it was. I don't remember. So, uh, and I've been driving uh, next month. will be six years now. So, I wouldn't call myself, uh, you know, definitely a seasoned veteran by any stretch. But I'm, I've been out here enough to know, uh, you know, what's a rookie mistake and what isn't. And what I did was uh, a rookie kind of mistake that even someone with 20 plus years of experience can do that's what i meant by that okay so um it happens and if, if you do see someone have a screw up like that go out there and help them don't go just taking video of them and sending them to ike stevens and all that or bonehead truckers yeah and not that i mind watching some of his videos but even then sometimes it's i can only go so far with uh shit talking about flip-flops or whatever or you know, uh, blocking the fuel island, I do have a problem with that, like everybody else does. But, uh, I mean, but he, he still does put good content out, I think. Um, yeah, you can like him or hate him or whatever, I don't know. Um, 
Either way, though, I'd rather I'd rather have my video content like this where, you know, show how to fix something or, you know, because you're going to have these fuck-ups sooner or later. Somebody's going to. You know, you might even be in a, 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 a me experience and, oh, I didn't think about this little detail that you thought of or something. Or maybe I didn't think of details that you think of. If you do have some details that, uh, you know, that you can add to this, go, and, go ahead, add them in the comments section, all right? Um, and on top of that, instead of shaming the guy and putting them all over YouTube and stuff, is uh, yeah, I didn't put his face in there. Um, I don't even know if I really put much of his tractor in there. It was really just for educational reasons only, and not to make fun of him. And and on top of that, I ended up getting a, a new subscriber out of it from him. So, you know, um, catch more flies with honey, right? Yeah, do uh, do good to other people, and uh, yeah, and they'll do good back for you. All right, that's the way I run. And um, all right, that's all. Uh, I'm still on my way to Clarksville, yeah. So uh, yeah, I still got a lot, not quite 600 miles. I think 580 or so miles to go. Uh, taking the route I'll be taking. Um, so you'll see that video coming up next after this one unless something else happens that's worth videoing before then But hopefully not So um, you guys all have a great day, and we'll see you on the next one